just a few. Can you guys get me? There we go. For the members of the press and the media, if you guys, if the press would like to come closer, please, we'll start in about two minutes. Two minutes. So if you want to come and occupy the first row or two rows, that would be excellent. Thank you. Thank you, John. They just see the, yeah, that's good, good. All right, thanks, Victor. Thanks. Great. Okay, yeah, uh, so the panelists for the conference, could you sort of step forward, please, Jan Bart? Sue, Sue Gardner. Sue, can I have you up here, please? Uh, and also, Jimmy's up here backstage. Thank you. Professor Okamoto as well. Thank you. Kat? Yes, and not the first seat closest to me. Jeremy? Can you, Jeremy? Could you sit in the seat closest to me, please? Thank you. Okay. He's going to be coming. Yeah, he's going to be on that side. No problem. You can sit on the table if you like. Okay, thank you. And Jimmy, thank you. Have you got a spot? You win an extra chair. Definitely one more chair. Oh. Right, we have a chair coming. Stand right. by, Jimmy. You can take mine off of the Okay, we're gonna start in about one minute, thirty seconds. Sam, are you in the audience? And Chris, can I hand these to you? Thank you, the panelists. Okay, so we have about, um, we have a brief, brief period of time for this news conference. Um, it is currently uh, just about 11 o'clock. It's 10.55. So we have a brief period of time for this press conference, about, um, uh, about 30 minutes. But very important to note, um, most of these folks will be, and I'll introduce them momentarily, um, they're going to be available through much of the day, um, and um, if not today, tomorrow. Um, can you hear me OK over there? We can. That's lovely. Yeah, Good, can. you have a monitor. Good. Um, so this isn't your only opportunity to speak to them, but this is the best opportunity uh, today if you're only here for a brief period of time. So I will go through a quick introduction, um, and then I'm gonna invite a comment from each of the panelists here. Just, I'll, I'll, I'll make it an easy one um, to get your reflections on here on Wikimania in Hong Kong. And then we'll take questions from everybody who is here. We do have two microphones. Where are the microphones at right now? Two wireless, there's a wireless microphone and another one. Please. 
uh, ask your questions through the microphones. We are able to answer questions um, in uh, Cantonese. Ma Mandarin, Jeremy here has offered to uh, provide some, some translation. And also in Japanese, if you uh, would like to ask in Japanese. Jeremy, do you want to capture a little, a little tiny bit of that? You mean speaking Cantonese? Uh, yeah, just to offer the invitation to ask questions in Cantonese. Uh, you can speak Japanese, right? Yeah. Thanks, Jeremy. Okay, so I'm going to introduce who we have here, um, some folks you've already seen today. From uh, the uh, left hand side, my first stage right over here, uh, first we have. Uh, Kat Walsh, who is the uh, immediate recent chair of the Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees. Um, next to Kat, we have Jean Bart, Jean -Bart de Fridi, who is the current um, chair of the Board of Trustees, as we saw in Jimmy's presentation a few moments ago. And then we have Jimmy Wales, uh, who probably doesn't need an introduction because he was just standing here a few, few seconds ago. Jimmy, the founder of Wikipedia. And then we have uh, Sue Gardner, who may also not require an introduction given she was standing here seconds ago, who's the executive director of the Wikimedia Foundation. And then we have uh, uh, Mr. Okamoto-san, Okamoto who also was speaking here just a few moments ago. Thank you for joining us this morning as well, who is the project leader of Save MLK and the chief editor of the Academic Resource Guide. And then last but not least, of course, we have Jeremy Yu Chan, who is the coordinator in chief for Wikimedia 2013. Thank you all for coming and joining us this morning. So very quickly, uh, to get us started and to keep an eye on the clock here, um, I will also re uh, advise once again that there will be a brief availability immediately following this press conference. We will ask that you do that outside of this room because this room actually is part of Wikimania. So a presentation will be unfolding here any moment, uh, actually at just about 12 o'clock. So as soon as we're finished here, we'll ask that if you'd like to speak to the panelists, we'll do a media availability immediately outside of this room in the lobby. Um, so. Initially, I'd like to ask everybody to perhaps provide a quick reflection, maybe under one minute, just so we can make time for the, for the reporters, um, on your views on having Wikimedia in Hong Kong this year and what you're thinking about or the specialness of this particular location. So maybe, Kat, can I start that uh, with you? Thank you. Sure. Yeah. It, it's, only the, it's always a great honor to be able to see the communities in different parts of the world who offer to host Wikimania. And it's always a, a great sacrifice and a great effort on the part of the organizing team who maybe does not get as much credit as, as they should get. So I first want to recognize the organizing team for doing a tremendous job in putting this on. And uh, for us, it's really great to see when we're based, uh, wherever we're based, to see the communities with all their different, uh, their different approaches and really the different local flavor of all the different people who make up the Wikimedia community. Thank you, Kat. Jan Bart de yeah, I agree with Kat. It's, it's our community consists of so many volunteers and because we are able to organize these events across the world, um, we make it affordable for everyone to come to hopefully one Wikimania every so often years. And our community is so interested in local culture and in, in everything possible that they've been swarming Hong Kong for the past days, taking pictures of everything possible to put on the, the articles. And um, the, the team so far is has made an amazing effort and uh, the 320 volunteers, it's incredible to see everybody uh, make this such a great event. Thank you, I'm Bart, Jimmy Wells. You know, one of the uh, things that I think is a uh, deep affinity between our community and Hong Kong is that Hong Kong, of course, is a place where cultures meet and mix. Um, it's, a, it's a crossroads, it's the gateway to China. Um, it's a place where people from all around the world have come uh, for a very long time to do business and to um, trade and interact with others. And the Wikipedia community, of course, is a global community where using the means of the internet, we interact with other people from other cultures all the time. Uh, so I think Hong Kong has the right spirit for an event like Wikimania. Thank you, Jimmy. And Kat, or excuse me, Sue Gardner. Um, so as the executive director of the Wikimedia Foundation, Wikimania is always the highlight of my year, and I think it's for the same reasons that Kat and Yun Bart expressed. 
It's always really exciting to spend time with the Wikimedia community, and this is the one time each year that hundreds of people come together from around the world and are able to talk and share and learn from each other. So I wanna join uh, the speakers so far in thanking the local planning team. It's a lot of work, it's a big burden. We very, very much appreciate it. And when I say we, you know I mean everybody, we all do. Um, and I'm delighted to be here, very, very happy to be here in Hong Kong. Thank you, Sue. Mr. Okamoto, please. Uh, this is my first time to visit uh, Hong Kong and to take part in uh, uh, Wikimania. Uh, but uh, I think uh, <coughs> this, uh, this time uh, will be the, uh, how can I say, the un <coughs> unforgettable event for me. So <coughs> at first, I was so moved and uh, impressed uh, <coughs> by the uh, hospitality of the uh, people of the Hong Kong, especially the local host member. <coughs> I'm very grateful to them. And the uh, second one is the, uh, <coughs> I'm very, uh, uh, have to say thank you the, uh, the people of the Wikimedia Foundation. So, and uh, <coughs> Wikimedia Hong Kong, the people. So, because the, uh, at this time, the Wikimania is held in Hong Kong. So I think uh, maybe the member of the Hong Kong uh, should uh, give a opening keynote. But uh, in this time, so I, uh, uh, they gave me that those chance. Um, but uh, not only me, but also whole Japanese want to say thank you to everyone to all over the world. So I got uh, this opportunity for this time. Uh, it was very great host things. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Okamoto. And uh, Jeremy, please. Uh, I think I will preserve this one minute for Cantonese, right? Uh, because I already speak my part in the opening. So, uh, conference so final words is I would like to join all of the people at the tables a great thank you to all of them volunteers. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you very much. And I realized I also didn't explain who I was, but I work for the Wikimedia Foundation uh, with Sue, and I'm the communications director there. Um, so now we have about, uh, fortunately, have about 20 minutes. It seems, Jeremy, that it's a trend that things move quickly today. <laughs> Wikimania might be over at 2 o'clock today if we're not careful. Um, so uh, what I'd like to do is, if you have a question, please, please raise your hand. Uh, we'll bring a mic over to you. Um, and uh, please take your time, answer, or provide your question in as much detail as you like, but quickly if you can. And then if you prefer, please direct it to an individual, or we can certainly have a few folks answer that question. So please, if there's a question, raise your hand. Here in the front, the gentleman, thank you. Hi, uh, uh, good morning to Jimmy and Sue. I want to know that uh, Wikimedia and everything related to Wikipedia, it's going more international, spreading its wings beyond the U.S. and beyond the Western countries. How far do you feel are you successful in spreading your wings in India and South Asian countries? Did you want to direct that question? Uh, yeah, both of them to just give their views and opinions about it. C could sure, you repeat Jimmy? the last few words? I couldn't quite hear the last few words of the <clears throat> question. Okay, uh, Jimmy, I repeat like, uh, Wikipedia, Wikimedia, uh, it's spreading its wings everywhere. How far do you feel you're successful or what are your future plans when it comes to spreading your wings uh, in India? Because it has a lot of culture and uh, it, I mean, it's a, it's a country where you find a lot of them. So, and especially in the South Asian countries also. I want to know both of your views regarding that. And uh, it's like, it's growing amazing. I know that it's uh, spreading its wings big time in India. I would love to know about your future plans also. Thank you. Jimmy, Jimmy Wells, would you, would you like to try that first? Um, yeah, so I, in terms of uh, our success, um, my goal 
uh, is, is always to have a free encyclopedia for everyone in their own language. And obviously we're much more successful that, in that so far in some places than in others. Uh, obviously very, very strong in all the European languages, uh, in Japanese and Chinese, um, but have had more limited success uh, in the Indic languages, for example, um, in even more uh, limited success in African languages. Um, the reasons for that are fairly clear. Uh, they have to do with access to the internet, uh, uh, you know, just sort of very basic kinds of questions like that. Um, but I think there's a lot that we can do, a lot that we are already doing, uh, to further the growth uh, in, in those places. Uh, one of the things that I'm very excited about is Wikipedia Zero, uh, the concept of working with the mobile carriers to get uh, Wikipedia access for people where they don't have to pay data charges. Um, I think that's going to be quite Im important and quite powerful as the next billion people who come online are going to come online largely on mobile devices. Um, but also I think it's, uh, it's about supporting all those communities and, and uh, recognizing them and helping them get um, attention from the press. So I always, uh, when I uh, speak to people from the press in a place like this, I say, well, the most important thing that you can do to help us is write about Wikipedia a lot uh, locally. Uh, make sure people know it exists. Thanks, Jimmy Sue. Yeah, go ahead, Sue Gardner. Yeah, and I think um, everything Jimmy said, I, I, I echo and support. <coughs> and um, I think from the perspective of the Wikimedia Foundation, um, <clears throat> the story of, of progress on Wikipedia in the so-called global south and in, in um, Southeast Asia and perhaps India in particularly, it's the story of mobile, right? What we're seeing, what everybody is seeing is that um, people who have been online for 10 years or more are used to being online with their laptops and desktops. Increasingly, they're moving towards tablets and, and more and more phone usage. Um, but throughout Asia and throughout uh, the Global South, people are starting to go online directly um, <clears throat> using mobile phones. And so the Wikimedia Foundation has put quite a bit of engineering effort into um, making our mobile presence better. So, you know, we built <clears throat> Android apps and iOS apps and we've, we've um, made a variety of tools for uploading images. There's a nearby functionality where you can upload now um, images from your phone. It'll tell you which Wikipedia articles are missing images and you can take the picture with your phone and upload it immediately. We've just begun to roll out um, the ability to edit um, using the mobile version of Wikipedia and that kind of thing. And so that's, that I think is the future for Wikipedia throughout all of the world, but probably particularly Asia, Global South. And um, what Jimmy talked about, Wikipedia Zero, is a key part of our mobile strategy as well, which is essentially a project to work with telecoms to allow them to, or enable them, or work together so that we offer access to Wikipedia for free from people's mobile phones, so with no data charges. We think that's really important. Um, so we have a variety of projects and a variety of initiatives. There's also a chapter in India. I don't know if you know about the chapter, if you're interested in that. Those are people you can contact to, um, to, to start working with them um, in India and other chapters throughout Southeast Asia, including Indonesia. Thank you, Sue. Um, next question, someone please. Here in the middle is a gentleman in a white shirt in the third row. Do we have a microphone standing by, please? One of the gentlemen right here in the third row. And if you wouldn't mind, could you also identify the outlet that you're reporting for? Sure. Thank you. Hello, Jimmy. I'm from local, local media, <coughs> Ming Kao. I want to ask, uh, comparing to other Wikipedia community in the region, how do you think of Hong Kong's Wikipedia community? Do you think it's doing its job or hardworking or whatever? And uh, how do you think of Hong Kong's uh, Wikipedia community role in the regional network? Do you think it can liberate information flow in China or whatever. Yeah. Thank you. Sure, yeah, I mean, the, the Hong Kong uh, Wikimedia community has always been um, a strong community, um, growing out of a, a, a very organic, strong community before uh, there existed a chapter, um, and continuing on now. And I think there are a lot of reasons for that. I, I think uh, 
Obviously, Hong Kong is a very strong IT presence. Uh, but also, uh, I remember, I think it might have been the first time I was ever in Hong Kong, although I can't remember for sure, there was the regional, uh, Chinese regional Wikimedia conference, which was held here um, because it was a nice place, uh, easy for people from Taiwan and from mm -hmm. mainland China uh, to come here and meet. Um, and to, you know, good conference facilities. And so I think all of those things helped to grow a strong community here. And um, yeah, they're great. Thank you, Jimmy. Does anyone else want to tackle that? Are we okay? Great. So my next question from somebody, please. Uh, in the back, there's a gentleman in a purple T-shirt there. Is there a microphone, please? Right over here, um, two rows back there. He's got his hand up. Thank you. And once again, if you could identify the outlet that you're with as well, please. Okay. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Achilles. I, I study and work in this university. Can I ask a question? <laughs> you have the microphone now, you have to. Okay. <laughs> uh, hi, Jimmy. Um, I've noticed Wikipedia has been venturing into a new area, which is uh, uh, for profit, but uh, Wikipedia is uh, um, it's a non-profit. So wh what's your thoughts and motives behind this uh, transition from for profit? Non-profit to for-profit. So there is no transition for Wikipedia from non-profit to for-profit, and we aren't engaging in any for-profit activities. So. Short and sweet. Indeed. Um, yes, so I have in the second row this gentleman a blue shirt, please. Uh, you, yes, right here. Keep your hand up. Thank you. Um, hi, everyone. Um, my name is Wilfred Chan from uh, CNN, and um, my question sort of piggybacks off of the last question about the Hong Kong community, but it is um, about China. Censorship's obviously a perennial issue. Um, I was wondering, Jimmy, if you could speak a little bit about the challenges um, for growth in China, and if you have a special strategy um, for outreach, and whether that's changing. Um, I mean, China has always been uh, a bit of a challenge for us, but we've been accessible in China now for um, several years, um, and we've had good, strong growth in, in the Chinese language Wikipedia, but also in participation uh, from mainland China. Um, we're quite uncompromising in our position on uh, access to knowledge as a fundamental human right. Um, and of course, the Chinese government is also um, fairly firm in their own views as well. Um, so the, the main thing that we've tried to do is to keep open some lines of communication um, so that uh, we don't expect uh, Wikipedia to be just suddenly blocked overnight without at least talking to us uh, uh, before that would happen. Um, but I think we're at a, at a stable situation. Uh, for now. We don't approve of uh, the filtering of Wikipedia that does go on, uh, but there's nothing we can do to stop it. So um, at the present time, um, there's no movement really. Thank you, Jimmy. Here on the right side, a gentleman, you've got the microphone, please. Or excuse me, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Everyone. Hello, everyone. I'm from uh, local media, and uh, I would like to switch in the canonist. Uh, Jimmy, uh, uh, 其實維基在中國大陸那裡有一些網站就是一些網頁被封鎖了另外最後一個問題就是問一下 on Chinese Wikipedia, and also the relationship with the Baidu. And also the third part is uh, the specific technical problem that we faced of the recent release Android apps, and how is the response from the public? So first one? Well, I'll, I can do the first one. Um, um, we don't approve of censoring Wikipedia articles, so our position has never changed on that. Um, I think it's unwise public policy for mainland China 
Um, and I think that over time they will come to understand that it's not helpful uh, to achieve the goals that they have for China, which is a prosperous and harmonious society. Um, there are better ways to do it than censorship. Um, uh, regarding Android app and things like that, I'll have to defer to sure. Sue. Jeremy. One sec, yeah, uh, Jeremy. Can you recap the sec second? Second, second one is our relationship with Baidu. Do you the have relationship any Relationship between Wikipedia and Baidu? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sort of things. Yeah, like. I'm Copy. I, I, can I, just, can I just pause you just for one quick second? Sure. Do you need us to provide an answer in Cantonese or English? It's okay, you're okay? Yeah. Thank you, okay, sorry Sue, please. <coughs> That's okay. Um, <clears throat> so, um, the, in terms of the relationship between Baidu and Wikipedia, there there is no linkage between Wikipedia and Baidu. Uh, Baidu, as I understand, it, is very popular in mainland China, very popular throughout China, um, and covers some of the same territory or some of the same scope um, that Wikipedia does. Uh, but we don't share material from one to the other. We don't work together in any fashion. They're separate. Does that answer the question, do you think? Okay. Sorry. And also the Android app, any comments? <laughs> uh, comments on the Android app? Perhaps, yeah, public feedbacks and also the any technical problem, that should go to Eric, right? <laughs> yeah, no, the Android app is great. The Android app is fantastic. We, um, we're, 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 we're really looking uh, for people's feedback. So, so if, you are, if you are a logged in user of Wikipedia on our, on our mobile site, um, there is a opt-in um, version that you can you can um, choose as a preference, which is a here be dragons mode. So it's very experimental, um, and I think that mobile editing is now in here be dragons mode. Although it may have rolled out as as part of the conventional experience at this point, I'm not sure. But we encourage people to uh, to participate in the in the beta version, the here be dragons versions of what we're doing, um, because we're always looking for feedback so we can iterate the product. I think for the, for the mobile app, one of the coolest things is um, what's nearby, uh, that you can, you can see what articles are written about things that are near where you are, um, which has been a dream that I've had for many, many years, and I'm happy that it finally works because it's, it's, it's wonderful. It's a beautiful application, what mobile's good at. I imagine it's getting lots of exercise in Hong Kong. Uh, yes, um, question in the front in the second row, three seats in, please. And remind, remember, please tell us who you're uh, uh, representing. Good morning. I'm from um, This Week, a local magazine. I have two questions. Um, the first one is, can you explain um, a little bit more on why you choose Hong Kong as um, the, the venue for, for this year's conference? Is, is that um, any relationship between the future plan you, 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 will, you are going to launch in the mainland? And the second one is, um, can you um, explain the future plan in the coming five years, maybe? Um, on how do you want, what you want to achieve in Hong Kong and the mainland China. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wonder if we ask <coughs> Kat or Yonbart to speak to how the Wikimania um, locations are chosen. Um, and then maybe Jeremy speaks to why specifically Hong Kong. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Kat. All right, uh, the Wikimania locations are chosen uh, generally by the community. Uh, each interested community puts in a bid to host Wikimania in their location, and it represents a lot of work on the part of local teams. The Hong Kong team this year did a wonderful job in securing the venue, securing sponsorship, showing us that there was interest in their community to have it here. So it really comes from the communities of people who want to host the event. So I think that is a credit to the Hong Kong Wikimedia community. Uh, and every year it has been someplace different. It has been in Germany, it has been in Boston. The last time it was in Asia, it was in Taipei. Uh, but it is chosen by the community. It is chosen by a jury from the community every year. And this year, Hong Kong put in the best bid. And we congratulate them. Thank you, Kat. And Jeremy? I think Kat speaks most of stuff, right? Because they are the jury. We are just guessing games, right? So we, we present us the best thing. I think. We especially thank you for for Polly you and especially Gino you's help uh, possess Gino you's help to secure this venue even we didn't actually get a bid so I think that's the strongest point for our bid and also one thing is that well because we have more than 19 countries people are coming in this conference right so Great, yeah. so it's like so any many country people from many country can just come in. They don't need a visa. I think that's one of the, our strongest points, and also 
great food, I think. <laughs> great food, okay. I'm gonna make time for about two more questions. Um, yes, go ahead if you have a follow-up. I need a microphone, please, please stand by. Uh, Can you, is there the another microphone, microphone to come back to the gentleman so who just asked that question? So what, what does it mean for our strategy in uh, mainland China, if I can hold the mic? Uh, yeah, I just wanna capture that. Five years. Give me one minute, five second minutes. here. Can you return to this the gentleman right here sitting in the third row? Yeah. He's right there. You go. Thank you. I repeat my uh, second question, which is um, what do you want to achieve uh, in Hong Kong and the mainland China in the coming five years? So what do you want to achieve in Hong Kong and, and do you say mainland China within the next five years? Um, like, uh, go ahead, Jeremy, if you like. I think it's, we are still like. After aftermath of this Wikimania, Wikimania means mad, you know. So, so we have like 320 volunteers. So, sign up. So, what what will what happen with next? Like, probably we will try to secure them. <laughs> the first thing, and I think that we we probably we we had planned something after it. Afterwards, is like continue our our work in the education sector. But now we have more volunteers and other stuff. Probably we will thinking of more and more, more local and probably trying to help the ethnic groups in Hong Kong because they're helping, because they, they really are. Like, I have heard that from the guy from the Wikipedia from Nepal, they told me that they have an active group of Nepalese Wikipedians in Hong Kong, so we need to find them. It's a tremendously multicultural city. I'm sure that has that incredible benefit. So we're going to try back with two more questions. Um, in the back here, there's a lady. Yes, thank you. Please go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, my name is Muchen Li. I'm from the States, uh, representing financial industry, uh, being a financial contributor to uh, Wiki Foundation. Thank um, you. Yeah. Uh, I am just uh, so uh, impressed and moved by your guys' uh, contribution and the work. Um, my question is, uh, I think the Wikimedia that you are working on is such an incredible, um, important direction. Are you thinking about to collaborate, for example, in the States, um, based in um, Baltimore, there is a realnews.com. Uh, I don't know if you heard about that, but it's an independent uh, media. And their style is to give it about 10 minutes interview from an authoritative figure it's a re, uh, solution driven type of uh, media report on the current events so and, and also i know ted talk has also have a lot of a great so those are all have very short i would say about 10 minutes to 15 minutes video talks so is, is there something i think using uh we keep Wikipedia, your influence, if I can collaborate with the others, will make an incredible synergy. Just want to know, is that something also in your mind? Thank, thank you very much. So I'm going you know, to sort of broaden that and sort of maybe general thoughts on collaborations within Wikipedia. Um, Jamie, you look like you'd like to give an answer for that, please. Yeah. Um, so I, I think there's a lot of interesting things going on uh, right now um, on the internet um, as we see uh, there's been a huge impact of uh, various um, industry changes on the newspaper industry, on the television news industry, um, and we see an enormous demand from the public uh, for um, good quality information. So, for example, the TED Talks, um, it's really amazing to, to go and look at some of them and see how many viewers they have, and you say, wow, this is a, maybe it's a professor of biology who has one million people watched a video, who would have ever thought uh, in a culture where you think to get an audience of a million, uh, you have to have people uh, you know, eating bugs and jumping off of buildings or something. So um, in terms of us uh, collaborating, um, we're not that great at collaborating with other organizations. And in many cases, I think um, the best collaboration we can do is for our volunteers to uh, recognize interesting new sources of information and to to link to them and um, you know to be a part of this broader movement of the the recreation of good quality media so yeah it's all very interesting I'll check out the real news you said I'd like to take I'll a look try. at that yeah realnews.com and Sue did you did anybody else want to add anything to that I'm happy to yeah, oh, Bart, yeah. thank you 
Yeah, it'd be great if, if those sources were also going to be open licensed so we can mm -hmm. use them in our articles and edit, edit them in use pieces. That's the most important part. Absolutely, a Creative Commons license as well. Something you'll hear a lot about um, throughout Wikimania. Um, we have time for one more question, and um, I'd like to take a question over here from the gentleman in the red T-shirt, right, right behind you. Was it no, 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 right behind you. Could someone direct? There you go, in the red T-shirt, please. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, good morning. I'm Tinu and I come from Macau, and I would like to ask: uh, Wikimedia is a global event for Wikimedia, right? And Chinese Wikimedians have hosted two conferences in 2006 and 2009 in Hong Kong and Macau, but seems up years later till now there have no calls for the Viki, uh, Chinese Wikimedians. How do you feel that the development for the languages and regional uh, development for meetings? Thank you. I think we, so I just want to confirm, hold on one second, I want to confirm that. Could you, could you repeat the last part of that question one more time, please, with, regarding Wikimedia Macau? Okay, uh, just feeling that, uh, the question that is, uh, how do you feel that the development of uh, each uh, languages, uh, the, the conversation and sharing between uh, locals and also the Wikimedians to have the conference to meet more. I would say that's sort of a general sure. thinking on, on, on the way that... Jeremy, did you want to tackle that? Yeah, please. Uh, please I think that sometimes conferences, like, if there... I think it's if you have the agenda, if you have something you really want to discuss, want to really want to get together, it's, it's okay to have any conference. Because I think if you want to have a conference to just to have a conference, it doesn't make sense. So I think that the most important point is that if the community decided that we should have a conference, so just we start the initiative and then go along the process, whatever you like, then, then probably select a venue, try to secure sponsors, then, then work it out. I think that's very simple. Yeah, I think one of the things that I've seen that uh, can be very fruitful is um, very informal, very casual local meetups. Um, where people get together uh, to discuss whatever issues they're interested in. And uh, this is particularly good when we're talking about uh, minority languages um, and support um, amongst different communities. I've seen a lot in India where people get together um, and they may speak uh, three or four or five or six different uh, home languages, but they still meet up to talk about what's going on and projects they can work on together uh, to work with galleries and museums and that sort of thing. So there's a, always the possibility that um, apart from a formal conference, which is, can be important, uh, the people should just get out and go and have dinner with each other. I think it's great fun and uh, a good way to help uh, solve problems. Thank you, Jimmy. So I'm going to wrap up this press conference, but thank you all for your questions. Very important. If you would like to continue the conversation briefly with uh, any of the panelists, directly outside of this room. Please don't, don't use this room so we can make room for the next uh, very interesting talk. Um, thank you very much. Enjoy Wikimania, and uh, we hope to see you over the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.